Ever wondered why some people can command a room, while others can't even command a conversation? Welcome to another episode of the Heroes Forge, where we don't just talk about problems, we annihilate them. Today, we're tackling a skill that's more valuable than gold, but is often as elusive as a mirage. Effective communication. You see, the ability to communicate is not just about exchanging words. It's about exchanging value, influence, and power. It's the difference between being a forgettable face in the crowd and a force to be reckoned with. But here's the kicker. Most people suck at it. They stumble through conversations, leaving opportunities, relationships, and their own potential on the table. If you're tired of being a communication casualty and are ready to become a communication conqueror, then stick around. We're about to dive deep into the art of impactful communication, and trust me, you won't want to miss this. Listen up, because I'm about to make you a promise that could change the trajectory of your life. By the end of this video, you won't just be a better communicator, you'll be a communication powerhouse. We're going to dissect the secrets of the world's most influential speakers, leaders, and negotiators. We're talking about the kind of communication skills that can get you that job, win you that deal, or even make you irresistible in your personal relationships. This isn't some fluffy, feel-good advice. This is battle-tested wisdom that's going to equip you with the tools you need to not just navigate, but dominate any social landscape. So, if you're ready to elevate your communication game from mediocre to masterful, keep watching. The transformation begins now. Let's get one thing straight. Effective communication isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It's the linchpin that holds your personal and professional life together. Think about it. How many opportunities have you missed because you couldn't articulate your value? How many relationships have soured because you couldn't navigate a difficult conversation? The stakes are high, my friends. Your ability to communicate effectively dictates the quality of your life. It's the difference between sealing the deal and losing it, between a fulfilling relationship and a dysfunctional one. It's the currency that can buy you influence, respect, and power. Ignore it at your own peril. Now, I'm not just talking about being a smooth talker or a charismatic charmer. That's surface-level stuff. I'm talking about the kind of communication that penetrates, that moves people, that shakes the very core of your audience. This is the level where you're not just heard, you're understood, you're felt. This is where you can negotiate like a pro, inspire like a leader, and connect like a human being. It's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it, when you say it, and to whom you say it. Master this and you're not just playing the game, you're changing it. You're setting the rules and others are playing by them. So, if you're ready to wield this kind of power, keep your eyes glued and your ears open. The masterclass starts now. Secret 1. The power of active listening. Alright, let's dive into secret 1. The power of active listening. You heard me right, listening, not speaking. Most people think communication is all about talking, about being the loudest voice in the room. But let me tell you, that's amateur hour. The real pros, the people who command rooms and build empires, know that the most potent weapon in their arsenal is the ability to listen actively. Active listening is not just hearing the words, it's about decoding the message, understanding the emotional undertones and reading between the lines. It's about giving your undivided attention, not just with your ears, but with your entire being. When you listen this way, you're not just a passive receiver, you're an active participant in the conversation. You're showing respect, and in return, you gain deeper insights. You build stronger relationships and you elevate your social intelligence to a level most people can only dream of. Now, why is this a secret? Because most people are too self-absorbed to listen. They're too busy formulating their next sentence, too eager to get their point across, that they completely miss the goldmine of information being handed to them. 
Active listening is your secret weapon to cut through the noise, to get to the heart of the matter, and to deliver responses so insightful, so impactful, that people can't help but stop and think, who is this person? It's a game changer, folks. It turns you from a mere talker into a communicator, from a player into a game master. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, zip it, listen, truly listen. And watch how the dynamics shift in your favor, how you become the most influential person in the room without even saying a word. That's the power of active listening. Sacred 2. The Art of Asking Questions Let's move on to secret 2. The Art of Asking Questions You might be thinking, questions? Really? How's that a secret? But hold on a second. I'm not talking about those mundane, surface-level questions like how's your day or what do you do. I'm talking about the kind of questions that dig deep, that unearth the core of the person you're speaking to. These are the questions that make people stop in their tracks and think, wow, no one's ever asked me that before. The right question can be a catalyst for meaningful conversation, a tool for connection and a weapon for influence. It's like having a skeleton key that unlocks the most guarded doors of human interaction. You want to be a master communicator? Then become a master question asker. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Crafting the perfect question is an art form. It requires empathy, timing and a keen understanding of human psychology. You need to know when to probe and when to pull back, when to challenge and when to affirm. It's not about interrogation, it's about exploration. You're not just gathering information, you're building a bridge between two minds. You're creating a space where real dialogue can happen, where ideas can be exchanged, and where mutual respect can be established. The power of a well-placed question is immeasurable. It can turn a casual chat into a life-changing conversation. It can turn a potential conflict into a moment of clarity. It can turn a stranger into a confidant. So, how do you master this art? Start by being genuinely curious about the other person. Drop the ego, drop the agenda, and enter the conversation with the sole intention of understanding and connecting. Then, listen, actively, as we discussed in Secret 1, and let your questions flow naturally from what you hear. Make your questions open-ended, inviting the other person to share more than just a yes or no answer. And most importantly, be prepared to be surprised, to learn something new, to have your own views challenged and expanded. That's the beauty of asking questions. It's a two-way street that enriches both parties involved. So, go ahead, ask away, and watch how it transforms not just your conversations, but your entire life. Secret 3. Mastering Nonverbal Communication All right, let's dive into Secret 3, Mastering Nonverbal Communication. You ever walk into a room and instantly know who's in charge, who's nervous, and who's just trying to blend into the wallpaper? That's the power of nonverbal cues, my friends. We're talking about body language, tone of voice, facial expressions, the whole nine yards. These are the unspoken elements that make up a whopping 93% of communication. Yeah, you heard that right. While you're busy choosing the perfect words, your body is broadcasting a whole other message, loud and clear. You can have the eloquence of Shakespeare, but if your body language screams insecurity, that's what people are going to remember. You want to be a communication maestro? Then you've got to conduct yourself, literally, with purpose and poise. Now, mastering nonverbal communication isn't about faking confidence or putting on a show. It's about aligning your external presentation with your internal state. It's about being so grounded in who you are that your body naturally communicates authenticity and authority. You think Steve Jobs was thinking about his posture when he introduced the iPhone? No. He was so immersed in his vision that his body naturally conveyed his passion and conviction. That's the level you want to be at. So, how do you get there? Start by becoming aware of your own non-verbal cues. Record yourself talking, pay attention to your gestures and expressions during conversations, and get feedback from people you trust. 
then practice, 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 just like you'd rehearse a speech, rehearse your body language. Stand in front of a mirror and practice holding yourself in a way that exudes confidence and openness. Work on modulating your voice to convey different emotions, make eye contact a non-negotiable. The more you practice, the more natural it will become, until one day you won't have to think about it. You'll walk into a room and without saying a word, you'll have already made a statement. That, my friends, is the power of mastering non-verbal communication. Secret 4. The Rule of Three. Let's get into Secret 4. The Rule of Three. Ever wonder why some messages stick while others fade into oblivion? Why some speeches become iconic and others are forgotten before the applause even dies down? The answer, my friends, is as simple as one, two, three. Literally. The rule of three is a principle used by the greatest communicators in history, from Steve Jobs to Martin Luther King Jr., to make their messages unforgettable. It's not some esoteric concept, it's basic human psychology. Our brains are wired to remember things in threes. Think about it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Stop, drop, and roll. Just do it. These phrases resonate because they're simple, they're balanced, and they're easy to remember. Now, how do you apply this in your life? Whether you're giving a presentation, negotiating a deal, or trying to win someone over, structure your key points in sets of three. Don't bombard people with a laundry list of arguments or ideas. Pick the three most impactful ones and hammer them home. For instance, if you're pitching a business idea, focus on the three core benefits it offers. Let's say it's innovative, it's scalable, and it's profitable. Repeat these points in different ways throughout your pitch, and I guarantee they'll stick. But here's the kicker. The rule of three isn't just about what you say. It's about how you say it. Use it to structure your sentences, your stories, even your gestures. Three short sentences for emphasis. Three examples to prove a point. Three gestures to accompany your key messages. This creates a rhythm, a flow that not only makes your communication more effective, but also more engaging. You're not just conveying information, you're telling a story, creating an experience. And that, my friends, is how you go from being heard to being remembered. That's the power of the rule of three. Secret five, emotional intelligence in communication. Brace yourselves because we're diving into secret five, emotional intelligence in communication. You might be thinking, emotional what now? Listen up. Because this is the game changer, the secret source that elevates your communication from mere words to impactful connections. Emotional intelligence isn't some fluffy, feel-good term. It's the ability to read, understand, and respond to emotions, both yours and those of others. It's what allows you to navigate complex social situations, diffuse conflicts, and build genuine relationships. You can have the vocabulary of Shakespeare and the voice of Morgan Freeman, but if you can't connect emotionally, you're just making noise, not impact. Here's the real talk. Emotional intelligence starts with self-awareness. You need to understand your own emotional triggers and responses before you can hope to read others. Once you've got that down, you can start tuning into the emotional cues of your audience be it one person or a room full of people. Look for the subtle signs, the shift in body language, the tone of voice, the flicker of an eye. These are your clues, your roadmap to what's going on in their heads and hearts. And once you've got that intel, you tailor your message to resonate with them emotionally. You're not just talking at them, you're talking with them. You're not just sharing information, you're sharing a part of yourself. And that, my friends, is how you turn communication into connection. That's the power of emotional intelligence. Secret six, arm the star technique. All right, let's cut to the chase and talk about secret six, the star technique. No, I'm not talking about becoming a Hollywood star, although mastering this technique might just make you the star of any conversation. Star stands for situation, task, action, and result. This isn't some academic jargon. 
It's a tactical framework that you can deploy in real time to make your communication laser focused and impactful. Whether you're in a job interview, a business meeting, or even a heated argument, the STAR technique helps you structure your thoughts and words in a way that's both compelling and easy to understand. You start by outlining the situation, then you define the task at hand, followed by the action you took, and finally, you reveal the result. It's storytelling with a purpose, and it's how you turn abstract ideas into relatable narratives. Listen. The STAR technique isn't just a neat trick, it's a powerful tool for persuasion. You're not just throwing facts and figures at people, you're giving them a story they can sink their teeth into. You're painting a vivid picture that allows them to see the world through your eyes, to feel what you felt, and to understand why you did what you did. It's about creating a shared experience, a common ground upon which real understanding and connection can be built. And let's be real, in a world drowning in data and starved for wisdom, the ability to communicate with clarity and emotional resonance is more than just a skill, it's a superpower. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where you need to make an impact, remember the STAR technique. Use it to structure your message, to guide your audience on a journey, and to deliver a conclusion that's not just heard, but felt. That's how you communicate like a pro. That's how you leave a lasting impression. Bonus secret, the power of silence. Let's talk about the bonus secret, the one most people overlook, the power of silence. Yeah, you heard me right. Silence, the absence of noise, the void where words go to die. But let me tell you, silence is not a void. It's a canvas. It's the space where understanding blooms and connections are forged. In a world that's addicted to the constant hum of chatter, silence is your secret weapon. It's the pause that gives weight to your words, the breath that lets your message sink in. It's the moment where you lock eyes with someone and realize you don't need words to communicate. You think the great orators, the Obamas and Churchills of the world, didn't understand the power of a well-timed pause? Think again. They knew that silence can speak volumes, that it can punctuate a point better than any exclamation mark. Silence gives your audience the time to process, to catch up, to get on the same page as you. It's where the magic happens. So, the next time you're in a conversation, don't be afraid to let your words breathe. Don't be afraid to let a moment of silence sit. Trust me, that silence will be more eloquent than a thousand words. It's the pause that empowers, the quiet that amplifies, the stillness that moves mountains. Master the art of silence, and you master the art of communication. All right, we've just dissected the anatomy of killer communication, laid out the secrets that can turn you from a mumbling mess into a communication maestro. But here's the deal. Knowledge without action is as useless as a screen door on a submarine. You've got the tools, now it's time to build. So, what's your next move? Are you going to let this video be another blip in your YouTube bing? Or are you going to take these secrets and apply them? Hit that like button if you got value from this, and share it with someone who needs to up their communication game. Subscribe for more no BS content that'll transform you from a spectator to a player in the game of life. This is The Hero's Forge, signing off. Until next time, don't just talk, communicate. Be the hero you were born to be.